Good morning, and welcome on the 17th Sunday in Ordinary Time. A warm welcome to all our parishioners and everyone visiting us this weekend. Our parish depends on and thanks you for your continued financial support in order to meet the many spiritual and material needs of our parishioners and our local community. You may place your offerings in the collection boxes in the baptistry. All are invited to First Saturday Mass, this Saturday at 9 a.m. Following Mass, the Rosary and First Saturday Devotions will be led by members of the Legion of Mary and the Knights of Columbus. Registration is now open for the next season of our Youth Choir. Details can be found on the parish website or at the welcome desk. The presider at this Mass is Father Rafael Rivas, assisted by Deacon Bill Westerman. Please stand and greet those around you. Join in singing number 832. We come with joy in Jesus Christ, number 832. for coming to participate in this Mass. We are offering this Mass for our intention. And also, I want to offer this Mass for a difficult decision in Venezuela, because today is the president's president election in my country. In the of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves 
to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us, and grant us with you as our ruler and guide. We may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now. Do those that ever endure through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who live and reign is with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Kings. A man came from Bahal, Cilicia, bringing to Elisha, the man of God, twenty barley loaves made from the first fruits and fresh grain in the ear. Elisha said, Give it to the people to eat. But his servant objected, How can I set this before a hundred people? Elisha insisted, Give it to the people to eat. For thus says the Lord, they shall eat, and there shall be some left over. And when they had eaten, there was some left over, as the Lord had said. The word of the Lord.
heavens bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your mighty deeds. The hand of the Lord feeds us. you give them their food in due season. You open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. The hand of the Lord feeds us. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to pers preserve the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace, one body and one spirit, as you were also called to the one hope of your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. The word of the Lord.
gospel according to John. Jesus went across the Sea of Galilee. A large crowd followed him because they saw the signs he was performing on the sick. Jesus went up on the mountain, and there he sat down with his disciples. The Jewish feast of Passover was near. When Jesus raised his eyes and saw that a large crowd was coming to him, he said to Philip, where can we buy enough food for them to eat? He said this to test him, because he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, 200 days wages worth of food would not be enough for each of them to have a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, said to him, there is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what good are these for so many? Jesus said, have the people recline. Now there was a great deal of grass in that place, so the men reclined, about 5,000 in number. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, distributed them to those who were reclining, and also as much of the fish as they wanted. When they had had their fill, he said to his disciples, gather the fragments left over so that nothing will be wasted. So they collected them and filled 12 wicker baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves that had been more than they could eat. When the people saw the sign he had done, they said, this is truly the prophet, the one who is to come into the world. Since Jesus knew that they were going to come and carry him off to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain alone. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, we celebrate the 17th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Of all today's readings, show us a beautiful passage about God's invitation to share our goods with others. This is one of His commandments to share what we can with those who need it. Specific specifically, share our time, talents, and resources. We shall not only give what we have left over or what we no longer want to use, but God invite us to generously share everything we have. In today's Gospel, according to John, we see how Jesus multiplies the bread and fish and feeds many people. The disciples tell Jesus that they do not had enough food to feed the crowd that has gathered. Jesus responds by distributing five bread and two fish among five thousand men, no counting women and children. Today, would we be able to feed such a crowd? 
the answer is obvious. We cannot. But Jesus teaches us that we can. He teaches us we must share what we can with others. Because when we have him, we are able to do great things with our actions alone. But we must be willing to help others and see the needs of others. Additionality, let us reflect on how we can help others. It is a simple answer. We must put into practice the sharing of our time, talents, and treasures. Our society has taught us that our time is valuable because it is related to money. But how much of our time had we can dedicate to God? Everyone will have a different answer. Some will say that they dedicate one hour a week when they come to Mass. Others perhaps two or three hours or more. But do we believe that with one or three, two or three hours a week, we are going to go to heaven? That is why we must learn to dedicate more time to God, especially by helping those most in need. How? By bringing communion to a sick person, talking to someone who is lonely, praying with our family, helping at the house of mercy. It is simple, but often we do not do it because we are tired. But if we, if we were paid $100 one hour, would we do it? I think so. If we were tired, remember, time for God is preciousless. Give it your best because you will receive a better reward in heaven. You will be rewarded with eternal life for your good words. Another aspect to consider is our talents. We all possess unique skills and gifts, such as cooking, hard work, singing, praying, to name a few. The question is, are we using these talents in our daily life? Sometimes yes, sometimes we are not. Let me give some examples. If, if you can cook, you can prepare a plate of food for a homeless person. If you can sing, you can go to the nursing home and sing to someone. If you can pray, you can pray for those who nobody pray for. And so, on with all your gifts, because 
we can make a difference and let someone else know God because of our talents. Therefore, it is very important that we put our talents at the service of God, especially in helping those in need. And by offering our talents, we will find joy in knowing that we are contributing to the kingdom of God. Now, let us reflect on our treasures. What do we consider treasures in our life? Each of us value different things, family, friends, money safe, house, cars, among other things. But what will happen to this source if you die today? We may not know for sure. Those who are organized them to donate and help those in need. While others only leave conflicts in the family. That is why God invites you today to do words of mercy with all you have. Enjoy the happiness it brings in our heart to see someone smile when you give them clothes, money, food, or something. The happy face is preciously and is the best gift God can offer you. Therefore, everything you deserve in your heart should not be material. We should deserve love and the beautiful moments of your life. So, make time to share with those in need. And many times, they are our own family members because they also need quality time with you. It is not just about budget things, but it is about sitting down to talk listening and letting yourself be loved by those who are by your side every day. Finally, Jesus wants us to learn to serve others, helping without expecting anything in return. Especially, donate your time your talents at their source. We ask the most precious thing we have. Do not do things with a bad attitude, but with love, so that we can be happy helping our neighborhood and above all, be reward with eternal life in heaven. I believe in one God, the Father of God.
God satisfies the hunger of all who cry out in faith. We know, turn to God, raising our prayers for all in need. For the church, may she be the instrument by which the bread of life is broken for those who hunger, we pray. For our world, may peoples of differing cultures recognize our common humanity and live a life that is worthy of the children of the one God and Father, we pray. For those in prison, may they and all who minister to them in Christ's love experience the healing that flows from the one hope of our calling, we pray. For our joy ministers, those who minister the bread of life to our sick and homebound, may they be of the living sign of Christ's concern and of our care, we pray. For all Catholics nourished at the one table of the Lord, may we maintain the unity of the Spirit in a bond of peace, we pray. For all grandparents, may they accompany our families with wisdom and pass on the treasure of faith to their grandchildren and to the younger generations, we pray. For all the elderly who are alone and seek the tenderness of an embrace, may no one have to live in isolation, we pray. For the recently deceased, Maureen Winans, and for all who have died, in memory of Robert Rupon, Thomas Hill, Ted Kors, may they now receive the promised inheritance of redemption, we pray. Gracious God, the eyes of all look hopefully to you, and you give them food in due season, in your generosity, answer our prayers. We ask this true Christ, our Lord. Amen. Join in singing number 921, There is One Lord, number 921.
Dharma sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gift, that through the powerful working of your grace, the most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord, for out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself as was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so, with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the cause and powers of heaven, we sing the King of your glory as we out and we acclaim. the fount of all holiness, make holy. Therefore, the gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, little go fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, he was betrayed and entered into, into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, brought it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this my body, which is given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and one more healing tense. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we pour out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give it thanks that you have kept us worthy to be in your presence and mystery to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ. We may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your source, spread on out the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Mary, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, we can fall in asleep in the hope of the resurrection. On all, we can die in your mercy. Welcome them into the lives of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we bless St. Joseph, get exposed, with the blessed Apostles, on all the saints, we can place you through all the ages, we make Mary to be covered to eternal life, and my prize and glorify you, through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through King, and with King, and in King, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. divine teaching we dare to say, All Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as is in heaven. Give us this day all the daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespasses and our us. And give us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed cup at the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to you, apostles, 
Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sin, but on the face of your soul. And graciously, thank your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, who take away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to sweeten my roof, but only say the word that my soul shall be healed. Join in singing the communion antiphon found in the worship aid.
Let us pray. We can consult, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation to Christ our Lord. All are invited to join the Knights of Columbus in Kaplan Parish Hall uh, for breakfast following Mass. Today is a world day for the grandparents. For this reason, I go to make the blessing for the grandparents. The Lord be with you. Amen. Bow down for the blessing. Lord God Almighty, bless our grandparents with long life, happiness, and health. May they remain constant in your love and be living since of your presence to their children and grandchildren. We ask this to Christ our Lord. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. The Mass has ended. Yes, we are. Join in singing number 631, Father, we thank you who have planted, number 631.